Great is the faithfulness, O oh God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. All thou hast been, thou forever will be. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, Lord. Morning by morning, no mercies I see. All I have needed, thine hand has provided. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. Summer and winter, springtime and harvest, sun, moon, and stars in their courses above. Mm. Join with the nature in manifold witness to thy great faithfulness and mercy and love. A pardon for sin and a peace that endureth thine own dear presence to cheer and to guide your great strength for today and bright hopes for tomorrow. Blessings on thine and ten thousand beside. Great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, O oh, morning by morning, no mercies I see, all I have needed, thine hand has provided, great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, great is thy faithfulness, Lord, unto me. What's up everybody, it's your girl Nini here and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me. Happy holidays. I hope everybody is enjoying the holiday season. It is the first Monday of the last month of the year, 2018. Can you guys believe that? Like this year has just gone by like that so fast. And um, I really wanted to just hop on here really quickly. If you guys couldn't already tell by the title of this video, I wanna encourage you guys, I wanna motivate you guys this Motivational Monday to make sure that you are keeping your focus, keeping your eyes on God. In this time, um, first of all, it's the season of giving. You know, this is the time of year that the world recognizes that Jesus was sent as a gift to save the world. And um, as we, you know, go about the holiday season and we're getting caught up in the hustle and the bustle of gift giving and excited about what gifts we're going to be getting from friends and family and excited about gifting gifts to others and all of the holiday traditions, the caroling, the hot chocolate, the cozying up by the fire and all of these amazing things we have to first remember that Jesus is the reason for the season for one. But as we are on this last leg of the year, we can't allow distractions to get us off track. We can't allow um, basically looking at what other people have going on and trying to compare it to our own personal situation. We have to remember that God is saying, 
all eyes on me. Don't be discouraged. You, you know, maybe in a situation where you feel like, oh, you know, it's almost the end of the year. I haven't really gotten to the place where I wanted to be this year, where I said I was going to be. You're, you know, making all these lists of um, New Year's resolutions and what you're going to be looking to achieve in 2019. And you're getting a little bit down on yourself because you're thinking you would have been a little bit further along by now. But as long as your focus is on God, he has the ability to redeem the time. So I feel him saying in this season, all eyes on me. It doesn't matter about the promotion that he or she got over there. It doesn't matter about the new house that he got able to, you know, that he was able to move into with his family over here. It doesn't matter who just had a baby or who just got married or who was able to, you know, move into this new uh, position at work or who's able to travel and go on vacation. And it seems like they're always able to pick up at the drop of a dime and do whatever they want. And they have this spontaneous life and you're stuck sitting at home having to manage your coins or whatever the case may be. God is saying it's a season of all eyes on me. Stay focused, stay in his face, and you are going to end up being exactly where it is that you need to be. And we can't allow even people that mean us well. I had an experience last week where I received um, basically something from a loved one and they didn't disclose that it was for them and not me because we share with each other like in our spiritual walks like we encourage one another We're like look at what so-and-so said to me you know this is confirmation this lines up exactly with what I was asking God for blah 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 this is a situation for this person and I read it not knowing that it was for this person as if it was for me and it kind of contradicted with what I'm doing right now and in that moment I was kind of a little bit taken aback and I was a little bit discouraged because I was like that doesn't line up with what I'm doing at all what are you saying and I was like what are I was thinking like, Lord, are you trying to tell me something? This and the third. And I have a spiritual counselor, which is my mommy. And I went ahead and forwarded it to her. I was like, what do you think about this? And as I was waiting for her response, I was going through my text message threads. And I came across a text message that my church one community sends out um, that's basically invita inviting us to worship. And the message for that week was called Returning Your Light to the World. And God allowed me to be able to read that whole thing in the little message preview section. I didn't even click on the message to go into what it said. I was scrolling and it just caught my eye and it said, returning your light to the world. So the message that I received from this person contradicted what I said because it was saying something along, everybody's not your assignment. And it was basically for her because she has such a good heart and she tries to really help as many people as she can, even the people that may not necessarily be receptive of it. And so she received a word that everybody is not your assignment. But when I read it with her not having disclosed to me that it was for her, I was kind of discouraged because I'm like, okay, well, I'm on this public platform and I'm releasing all of this, you know, motivational content to people for anybody to be able to see all over the world so I was kind of discouraged a little bit and so um, even in that moment God protected my heart he guarded my heart and protected my mind and he allowed me to be able to read that message and those are just one of the little twerks and things that are the quirks that are you know going on works the quirks that happen between um me and him the things that he does is little things that he does that just makes me smile that is a benefit of being in a relationship and having intimacy with him because even in that moment where i wanted to self-doubt he was like no no, no. <laughs> returning your light to the world look at me all eyes on me no distractions you don't need to be worried about what other people are doing or even what other people are saying you need to be concentrated and focus on what it is that i'm telling you to do receive from me all eyes on me so um you know, I, I even shared that with her, you know, that I, I shared that little testimony with her. She was like, I'm so sorry, you know, I didn't, I didn't tell you, I didn't disclose that to you. I know that you're, you know, good on what you're doing right now. That was for me, honey. And I was like, oh, okay, well, you know, you still bless me because, you know, the enemy even tried to use that little moment to cause me to have self-doubt. Even in that moment, it just showed how strong my relationship is getting with God and that he allowed me to be able to experience some encouragement even in that moment because he allowed me to be able to, you know, see that message. And that spoke to me directly that said, returning your light to the world and quickened me immediately saying, all eyes on me. You don't need to be worried about what nobody else is saying, what nobody else is doing, just all eyes on me. 
So I wanted to share that with somebody this week. And then, you know, don't allow yourself to be distracted by old, you know, things, old temptations, old places that you used to go, old things you used to do, old people that you used to see. You know, the enemy will try and bring that old stuff up that you may have swept under the rug, maybe you threw out the trash or whatever. Somehow, it's gonna try to find its way and come on, circle right on back to see if you fall for the same thing because for so long, you were falling for the same thing. But when you're in pursuit of God and you're in pursuit of his purpose and his plan and his direction for your life, those same things that you used to fall for, that was an easy trap for the enemy to set for you, no longer works. So just remember, it's the holidays. Happy holidays. Remember, Jesus is the reason for the season. And he is saying in this time, all eyes on me. Make sure that whatever plans it is that you have going into the next year, that it includes God, that he is the center, that he is the focus, that you have godly ambitions, that whatever it is that you have planned to do, that you seek him first, that you consult him about it. Do not miss God in 2019. Do not let another year go by where you're not productive, where you're not living in sync with his purpose and his plan for your life. Keep all eyes on him. Short, quick, sweet, to the point. And just remember, God is faithful. That was the reason why I chose the song of the week, um, Being Great is That Faithfulness, because he is faithful. He is amazing. He is awesome. So just remember, God is faithful to you. Be faithful to him. He already gave his life. He already sent his son, his precious, blameless, faultless son as a living sacrifice so that we could be redeemed, have redemption of our sins. Christ died for us. Why not live for him? again all eyes on him thanks so much for joining me this week i hope you guys have a wonderful rest of the week and i will see you in